Hello, welcome to Art Bites. Today, I'd like to share a glass sculpture from our collection entitled Lido 2003 by the Venetian glass artist Lino Taglie Pietra. Lido is an Italian word for shore and a beach resort located in Venice, Italy. Let's take a moment to learn about this blown glass work, as well as his related works. Also, I'd like to note his role in the international exchange of glass blowing processes, which Lino is best known for. Lino Taglia Pietra was born in 1934 in Murano, Venice, Italy, an island with a history of glass making that dates back to 13th century. In this enriched environment, he was apprentice to Archimede Secorso, the glass maestro at age 11, to develop his techniques in glass artistry. Lino was only 21 when ranked as a maestro himself. After that, he worked with several glass studios in Murano and became the head glass floor of Epitre International in 1977. As he mastered a rigid traditional approach to glass art, Lino further developed his distinctive designs in glass art, especially through educating himself in modern art. Being inspired by abstract paintings by Mark Rusko and Piet Mondrian contributed to his bold use of colors and patterns as the maestro of contemporary glass. When the prominent American glass artist Del Jihui, who regarded Lino as the greatest glass blower in the world, visited Murano, they exchanged teaching each other their techniques and experimental ideas. This was how Lino's collaboration with American glass studio artists began, which has continued ever since then. Since his initial visit to Seattle, Washington in 1979 to teach the traditions of Venetian glass blowing, Lino has split his time between there and Murano, Italy. This cross-cultural knowledge sharing not only raised the stature of American glass blowing but also provided Lino with an opportunity to widen his horizons as an international glass artist. In his late 80s now, Lino works as an independent artist, still producing innovative glass pieces to this day. This includes a body of two-dimensional work, such as the glass panel shown on the right. Lino created his works in various series. For example, the glass sculpture on the left, entitled Fuji, reflects his inspirations from the places he visited, such as Japan. Conversely, Lino's center and right glass pieces, Maasai and a dinosaur, refer to the specific forms of shields and prehistoric creatures. It would be interesting to find out whether Lido is named after a Venetian beach resort or if its form is subtly referring to any shore. Let's take one last look at Lino's Lino Taglia Pietra's work, Lido. 
I encourage you to observe how the artist expressed his emotions through manipulating glass. Notice how he did this by utilizing unique forms and color combinations, much as abstract expressionists did with their paintings. In addition, notice how the translucent quality of his glasswork allows some light to pass through while diffusing it at the same time. So as you can see from these two different views of Lido, each side shows something different that can only be partially seen from the other side. Something like this can only be achieved by a master artist. I will leave you with the following statement by Lino to think about. In it, he describes how artists explore unpredictable media such as glass. Working with glass is like life. It's emotional. You must love the material. You must respect the material. It takes a lifetime to get to know glass and I'm still learning. Thank you so much for joining us today.